Hello, heathens. It's your favorite day of the week. It's Monday. Well, I must say with some dissatisfaction, I was rather disappointed with you lot for not being able to vlog without a theme. The themes are only there to help you along. I'm expecting some of you to actually be able to try and vlog without my help. So I'm guessing it's going to be themes every week now until you guys get the hang of it? I better hope you get the hang of it very quickly or I will run out of themes. Actually, no, I won't run out of themes. I have too many planned. You won't know them. <laughs> Point number two. This week's theme is a stupidity test. What you say, Annie? A stupidity test! Yes, a stupidity test. Because all of you seemed inept in vlogging on your own without me, I deemed you all stupid. <laughs> Questions are down here in the pants section of YouTube. Answer them on each of your videos. Wait, so what's the catch? There can't be no reason for this. Ah, I see what you mean. The stupidity test is a kind of competition. The person who has the least points is the winner. The least points? Yes, the least points. What happens to the person with the least points? Oh, I'm so glad you asked me that. <laughs> They'll have their score on the test subtracted from their current house points. Don't you just love me? <laughs> <coughs> Time to begin. Super in for the win. Gum has fallen out of your mouth when talking. No! Gum has fallen out of your mouth whilst not talking. Yep. You have run into a glass or screen door. Yep. You have jumped out of a moving vehicle. Yep. You've thought of something funny and laughed, and then people have looked at you and given you weird looks. Yeah. You've run into a tree. Yep. <sighs> you didn't know it's possible to not lick your own elbow. Nope, I already knew that. Boom. You just tried to lick your own elbow. <laughs> you never knew that the tune of the alphabet song and Twinkle Twinkle Little Star were the same song. Nope. I already knew that. I figured it out when I was five. You just tried to sing it. Nope. You've tripped on your own shoelace and fallen. Yep. You've choked on your own sp <coughs> You've choked on your own spit. You've seen the, the Matrix and still don't get it. Nope. Completely understand it. You didn't notice that in the last question there were two these. Nope. I noticed that. I'm observant. I'm an observant cucumber. Boom. Yeah, observant cucumbers. You just looked at it to check that there were two of these. Nope, because I noticed that your hair is blonde or dirty blonde. Nope. People have called you slow. Nope. You have accidentally set something on fire. You tried to drink out of a straw, but when you went for the straw, it hit your nose or your cheek or your eye. Yep. You've caught yourself drooling. Yep. You've fallen asleep in class. You tell a story and forget. Yep. People are often shaking their heads and walking away from you. Yep. You're often told to use your inside voice. You use your fingers to do simple maths. No, because I have a calculator. Yeah, smart cucumber as well. You have eaten a bug. I've never eaten a bug, that's disgusting! And plus I'm not a tiny little boy. Boys do that, not girls. Blech. You've put your clothes on backwards or inside out and didn't realise it. Yep. I walked to school like that once. Didn't realise my shirt was inside out and my bra was over my shirt. That's worrying. You've looked all over for something and then realised it was in your back pocket or in your hand. Yep. You break a lot of things. Yeah. Your friends know not to use big words around you. Nope! Ha <laughs> ha! I use big words around my friends and they get confused. I am a smart cucumber. You sometimes tilt your head when you're confused. You've fallen out of your chair before. Oh, oh shit! Oh! <laughs> oh shit! Oh shit! Shit! <sighs> I can't lie. So my score was 22 out of... 32. Oh. Right, I hope one of you gets a higher score than I do, or I'm going to be on minus 
16 or something like that. I will be on minus 14. That's not good. Really not good. Amy, I'm counting on you being stupider than me. Doug, I'll see you tomorrow.